Grey importing or parallel importing. It's the practice of bringing goods into a market via non-official channels. So as an example, in the UK, you might be a dealer in Hong Kong selling Nikon or Canon directly to consumers in the UK, bypassing the European and the um, UK importing networks. Nine times out of 10, it's a good way to save money, but you do have to be very, very careful. What I'm gonna do in this video is just quickly explain what's good, what's bad, and what you really must look out for. Okay, so first of all, the good. Now, there are some, there are some, there are some decent dealers in the UK that specialize in, in parallel importing and grey importing. They will source goods from all over the world, brand new factory fresh equipment. They will bring it into the UK, they'll pay all duty, all VAT. They'll advertise online and as a buyer, as a consumer, you can save yourself sometimes some quite significant amounts of money. Now, as long as the dealer is absolutely straight about the goods not being UK supplied, and as long as you get a good guarantee, and as long as you get the correct uh, charges the correct plugs, all of that sort of thing. That's absolutely fine. And and yeah, let's be honest, if 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 it, if it does come with a with a, with an Asian plug, you can actually quite easily replace your, the plug yourself. That's not a problem at all. So this isn't a video about those dealers. Those dealers are respectable. They've been around for decades. If you're buying from respected grey importing companies. I've ha I have no issue with that at all. But where you do have to be very, very careful is the, um, is the Amazon resellers, is the Ebayers that are selling brand new equipment, apparently brand new equipment, and this equipment isn't all it seems. The issue occurs, now this is something that as a camera dealer I've seen increasing massively over the last 10 years. The problem occurs when you're not getting what you're being sold. Less reputable dealers, now this is particularly Amazon resellers, not Amazon, Amazon resellers, and eBay. You'll see a brand new piece of equipment advertised as brand new. There'll be a saving of two or 300 pounds. Sounds fantastic, you get it. Yeah, it looks brilliant. What you've bought isn't brand new equipment. What you've bought is refurbished stock or, or B stock. Now the manufacturers sell refurbished stock and they sell B stock. They make it very clear what it is and they price it accordingly. And that's fine, I've got no issue with that whatsoever. The problem is when less reputable dealers buy that equipment and then resell it as brand new, the customer then ends up paying, paying up a price higher than they should be paying for equipment that isn't as described, it isn't brand new factory fresh equipment. Let me give you some examples that have, that have come in in the last week that have actually prompted me to make this video. Um, Canon 1.4 EF converter, this is less than 12 months old. It was bought with a large outfit. The camera it came in with showed about two or 300 pictures and it was the, the customer's only camera. So all of the equipment overall, it's been only used for a few, a few hundred pictures. It was all just absolutely brand spanking new. This wasn't. And you won't see this, it's too, it's, too, it's too fine to see. Just here, there's a little hairline crack just in the, in the casing, just by the, uh, the lens release button. It hasn't, that wasn't done by the customer. It's hardly been used by the customer. There are no signs of abuse whatsoever. This is, this, this is classic refurbished B stock. Works perfectly, but has a slight flaw. I asked the customer where he got it from. The camera and the other lenses he'd bought from, from WEX, from Warehouse Express, all absolutely brand new, absolutely perfect, proper UK imported equipment. This came from an Amazon reseller. Or he actually told me this came from Amazon. I pushed him and it came from an Amazon reseller. What he bought was factory B stock, except he was told it was brand new, which it clearly wasn't. Unsurprisingly, he was shocked. Let me give you another example. Sigma 2405 art lens. Looks absolutely brand new. This came in with a, with a current 5DS Mark IV. Again, very, very low shutter activations. Perfect condition. If you look inside, again, you won't see this on the camera, but if you look inside, there are lots of little white spots inside. Uh, it's not dust. I'm pretty sure that that's actually a, a, a coating fault. So again, this, uh, this would have gone back to Sigma. Uh, this would have been checked, it performs perfectly, it would have been resold as, as B stock or refurbished stock at a reduced price. 
I asked the customer where it came from. In this case, this came from an eBay reseller and surprise, surprise, it was sold as brand new. It wasn't brand new equipment. So that's where you have to be very, very careful. Just make sure if you're buying par parallel imports or gray imports that the, the dealer you're buying from is reputable. Now, a lot, a lot of the, the UK dealers, the gray imports are very, very open about it and they are selling absolutely factory fresh brand new equipment, no issue with those at all. But just be careful with the Amazon resellers and, and the Ebayers, check the, um, check the, the feedback very, very carefully. But I think, I think best of all, just if it were me, I, I wouldn't buy the stuff. I mean, to, to, to avoid this issue altogether, just, just, just buy from Warehouse Express, just buy from, um, from Jessup's and, the, and, the, and, and the, the companies that sell official UK stock, because then you know exactly what you're getting and you know you will have the, the, the support they offer if something goes wrong. Um, if you do see a grey import, and it's a good saving, and it's from a reputable UK reseller, then fine, you, 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 you'll, you'll be all right. But just be very, very careful with the eBay resellers and, and the Amazon resellers. Um, I hope that's been useful. I mean, if you have any personal experiences, put them in the, the comments box below. I'd, I'd love to hear about them. But yeah, just, just, just be cautious and you'll be fine. And I hope that's useful. And um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.